So here we have uh, two different kinds of exhaust. Uh, this is the the old 9.9 uh, .9 exhaust. Okay, as you can see, it's it has a relief right here, and uh, you can see, see that edge in there. Any kind of, anytime you get edges and it's like from, let's start from the, where they cast it. I don't know if you can see it's kind of rough in there. Um, <clears throat> with the two-stroke, the sound waves like bounce back and forth and. A tuned exhaust will shoot the sound waves right back into the combustion chamber right as it's closing in, which compresses the air and makes it run better. Uh, in an RC car, you would refer to this as to uh, getting it on the pipe. So basically, uh, there's like roughness in here. We're going to have to get all that out. There's all this from the casting, all these like, you know, edges and stuff. You want the air to just flow smoothly and the sound to be able to not get interrupted. So we're going to take off that little edge in there. We're going to polish this all up. And if you look at this, this guy here, he goes over the whole area here. This is the old one. He goes over the whole area. So we're not really playing with the sound. Now the tuned pipe, okay, that has exactly, if you look, the same size and shape as this right here. And it doesn't have the side thing like this guy has for relieving it, so instead it has a relief right here. This one does not have any reliefs in the sides of it. Some other ones do from other years, this one doesn't. Another notable difference here in the exhaust is the length of the exhaust. If you see this exhaust here is slightly shorter, okay? It's slightly shorter, alright? Now the reason for that is the old exhaust seals up perfectly against that. The newer exhaust doesn't seal up against that. It gives it a little bit of a space and that's to relieve, I think, I don't know this part for sure, but I think that's to relieve uh, for like back pressure, the differences in back pressure between the two motors. So um, <clears throat> yeah, we're working on seeing how many horsepower we can get this guy to do. So also all along these edges here, we. I did a couple already. Was going to do more. All these edges need to be smoothed out. They got all this roughness on them from and any else, like anywhere else where there's uh, any kind of anything that isn't perfectly smooth, we're going to smooth out. And then over here, uh, we're going to take out the uh, these lines here and smooth this out. Uh, maybe just clean this off a little bit. Uh, obviously, get the junk off it, but maybe get the casting lines out of it. To smooth that. The idea here is smooth, smooth, smooth. So, um, he took this, the front part with him, the mechanic, because he wants to, uh, recut into the holes in the, um, leaf plate. Didn't line up 100% perfect with the bows and reed things. So, he's going to, there's like a little bit left, so he's going to cut a little bit out of each one of those lobes so you get the maximum amount of airflow. Now, I don't know if that's a 9.9 15 thing, because this was a 9.9, um, we didn't have a 15 leaf plate to compare it to. We did have a 15 horsepower intake manifold to compare it to, and they were identical. So I think a lot of the difference in the 9.9 .9 and the 15, aside from the carburetor, is, uh, is going to be in here with the exhaust. And the other stuff we're doing with uh, cleaning up the ports and polishing and all that, that is just to you know, make it run smoother, maybe get a, a little bit extra horsepower. But... Um, the original purpose of this project is to make a 9.9 .9 into a 15. So, this is just a little inside look at the exhaust. And I'm going to be posting more videos about this project, um, including videos of it finished. If you go back into my videos now, there is a video, couple videos of it running as a 9.9 .9 stock. So, um, you can check those out. And then when I post the other videos, you can watch them too. Thank you very much.